Hi guys, Rebecca from Birch Moon Farm here. Let's talk about silky genetics today. Um, I did do a white video a long time ago and I'll put it up here, but I wanna to talk to you about what I think is one of the most fun genetics that any new breeder can do. And that's the BBS genetics. Now this is one of my favorite charts. It just makes it really easy to see that if you pair up certain colors, you'll see what you could get for the offspring. So for example, when you put a blue rooster with a blue hen, these are the offsprings that you could get. Now obviously the percentages could be off, but more than likely you could get 50% blue, 25% black, and 25% splash. So when it comes to genetics, you know, chickens are just like humans. You know, it depends on what is in their lineage to how they look. So the only way to really tell what kind of your lineage is and kind of the genetics that your chicken has is to breed them and see what you get for chicks. And so even if you follow these guidelines, you know, two blues and you should get statistically the 50, 25, 25, you may not get what you're thinking you're gonna get. Those colors, yes, but like our uh, rooster Ash, he has all kinds of what they call the leakage. And uh, I'll show you guys that. So of course it's not as easy as it sounds. So I'm just putting that out there that, you know, like breeders say, statistically some breeders have said, you can breed a hundred chicks and only have one that is, you know, show quality, all that kind of stuff, if you have a good breeding stock. So let's go to the next one. The next one is a pairing of blue and black. And what's cool is that statistically you could get 50% blue and 50% black. So you guys get it. If you follow this chart, this is the pairing for BBS, blue, black, splash. Now look at the bottom right. You see a splash that is much lighter than the others. That's because if you breed two splashes together, they start to get washed out. So breeding the other combinations that get you a splash is a much better option so that that doesn't happen. So this little boy is Simon and he is a blue. He is a light blue. There are two versions of blues. You can have the dark ones and the lighter ones. And this little girl is Cindy. She is a blue also. The only difference between the two is if you look at her neck and chest, she has gold leakage. So this little girl is Elvis and she's an example of a dark blue. So the differences between a blue and the black is that you see this kind of grayish blue on the blues and you won't see that on the blacks. But it can get difficult when the breeder has put the darks together a lot or bred the blues and the blacks together. Now this is a black rooster that we had last year and I know I've talked about leakage not necessarily being a good thing but he has silver leakage and in this instance putting him with a splash girl can actually improve the whitish parts on the splash girl. Now this pretty little girl is Miley and she's a splash hen. The way you can tell a splash is that their light part has like a grayish blue tint to it. And you can see it here really good on this little girl. And the spots end up being a dark blue. The last thing I want to share with you guys is that these genetics are not sex linked. There are colors that you have to have a certain color of the boy and you have to have a certain color of the girl to get what you want. The good thing about that is the fact that right away you know what's a boy and what's a girl. An example of that is chocolates. Now that's the very basics of BBS genetics. 
And I really hope you like this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share. You have got to have friends that have silkies. We all do. So I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.